What's up everybody, I'm back at y'all with another video, now for this one, I am reviewing The Foreigner. Um, this film is probably one of Jackie Chan's best movies, you know, I'm I'm not a diehard Jackie Chan fan, the movies I truly enjoyed him in was, you know, Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3, and the Karate Kid remake with Jaden Smith, and um... And Jackie Chan plays Mr. Han in the film, in that movie, and then I also like this film. It's basically the only films I really, pretty much like him from. And, um, today's the first day i ever seen this film. Um, The Foreigner, and I bought this at Walmart earlier for like five bucks, and I was like, wow, I've been looking for this movie because there are good things about it. I heard nothing but good things about this film. Now, when I watched it, <clears throat> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a hell of a lot. Now, I like it's emotional and it's epic also. Like just had a lot of great fight scenes and um stuff. And you know, Jackie Chan was a nice man in this film, basically. You know, like he was a nice man and then they pushed him to the limit basically. Like, you know, he wanted the answer, that's all he wanted, because the um his daughter, you know, he wanted to find out the people who killed his daughter, you know? And, you know, his wife's dead in the film, you know, his wife's been dead, and, you know. And so, basically, his daughter's all he had left. And she's gone, so, you know, she ends up dying. And he's he just wants answers. Nobody's giving him answers. And he's just like, you know what? All right. All right. And he's just whooping a lot of people's asses. Like, he's smart in this film. He's a badass. Jackie Chan's a badass. This probably is best acting performance he's ever done. And, um, The Foreigner is just a great film. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. It's literally almost perfect. I enjoy this film from start to finish, you know. You have to learn the story of what's going on from the beginning, you know. Um, and it starts off with Jackie Chan and his daughter Happy. And then somebody, you know, kills his daughter. Like, she's running somewhere. A car blows up and then it kills his daughter. So, you know, he wants... And then Jackie Chan wants answers. Like, who the fuck killed my daughter? Who the fuck done it? Where's the shooters? You know? And nobody's giving him answers. So he's like, you know what? I don't handle the shit. I'm going to find out some way to get them. And then they end up getting his fucking answers. They end up giving him fucking answers. You know what he did? There's a lot of twists and turns in this film also. And um, and I don't want to spoil too much. But this film. All I got to say is it's an amazing film. Um, and stuff. I would actually watch this again. I love this film. Um, I enjoy The Foreigner. It's it's a great film. Um, if you're a Jackie Chan fan. You will love it. Like You'll really love it if you're a Jackie Chan fan. Because this is his best acting performance he's ever done. This film had a lot of great fight scenes. A lot of great fight scenes. And, um, yeah, Jackie Chan still got it. Like, I think it was like 63 when when this movie came out. Um, and stuff. So, yeah. Jackie Chan still got it. He's sort of like another Sylvester Sloan. Which is, Sylvester Sloan is my favorite actor, by the way. He's one of my favorite actors of all time. But, um, Jackie Chan, I'm not the biggest fan of him. But I do love a lot of his movies. Um, I, the ones that I just mentioned, you know, I, I do like, um, I do like Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3. And then I like the Karate Kid remake with him in it. And then I like this movie. So, yeah, there's some movies I do like of him. And um, The Foreigner, if I had to rate this film, um, let me see what I would rate it. I would probably give it a 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10 for this film. I feel like it belongs to 8.5 out of 10, in my opinion. I enjoy the film. I, I would literally go watch this again. An 8.5 ain't a bad score. It's actually a good score. It ain't like I put it down the bottom, like 7 or anything. I put an 8.5 out of 10 because I feel like it fits there. Um, but it's a really good movie. Jackie Chan um, was phenomenal in this film. I pretty much love this film from start to finish um, and stuff. So I would give it 8.5 out of 10 for this film.
8.5 out of 10. And this is a good deal for $5. Literally. Um, it's damn well worth it. It's worth the price. Very good movie. If you haven't seen the film, you should go out and buy it. Because it's a damn good movie to watch. Damn good movie. So yeah, um, I guess that's it for this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe and share. And also with the bell, so you know when the video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I'm out. Peace.